September 9th, 2017. Mark the 18th anniversary of Sonic Adventure and delayed Sega Dreamcast in North America released in 9999. Now, me personally, I never grew up with the Sega Dreamcast. I literally bought the Sega Dreamcast this year just so I can have it in my collection for Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. And thanks to the beautiful people on the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter, I'll leave their link in the description below, but they posted a picture showing the Sega Dreamcast, you know, reminding me that it was the Sega Dreamcast's birthday being 18. Now, I just had the bright idea looking at that. I'm like, Sega, why don't you create a miniature Dreamcast just like how Nintendo's creating with a miniature NES and an SNES? Imagine being able to use your old games instead of being able to play them on the original Dreamcast you have, but being able to play them on a miniature Dreamcast that could play in high definition game. Now, before I get pitchforked and I say, no, what are you talking about? Shut up. You don't know. No, we don't want the Dreamcast. There's emulators and stuff for that. Okay, hear me out. All right. I'm just going off the top of my brain. I don't even have a script right now. I'm just <laughs> going off the top of my head. So here it goes. One thing for just making a miniature Sega Dreamcast. It can be part of a collector's edition. Like people who love the Dreamcast or just love Sega in general, they can they would be able to have a physical copy or just a physical product of the Dreamcast. Being able to just have it and then being able to just say they remade it. I have two Dreamcasts, the brand new style, a miniature one, and the original one. A second reason. Imagine Sega actually creating the Sega Dreamcast, but having at least a good bit of games uploaded onto the home console already and, and being in high definition. Just on top of my head, say you never played any of these games like myself included. I've never played Skies of Arcadia or the original Jet Set Radio or Power Stone, a game that people keep saying is something like Super Smash Bros. I definitely want to try those type of games. Yes, there are emulators, but just imagine being able to have a miniature Dreamcast being able to play those games already uploaded onto the console just like the NES and the SNES. There are loads of possibilities just doing or creating the miniature Dreamcast. Now like I said earlier, I never personally had the Dreamcast growing up. I just went from you know having the Sega Genesis to the Xbox to the GameCube and that's it basically as a kid until I got to the age which I am now to be able to buy my own games buy my own retro consoles just to collect and just to have in part of my collection there are plenty of other games that I want to drive for the Sega Dreamcast there are plenty of others but guess what they cost a lot like some people have them just the disc only or they have brand new ones which cost $200 or just you know I'm spouting out examples on top of my head but it's true just imagine being able to have that and not being an emulator. That's one thing people are saying, you know, emulators, this, that, and third. What if someone doesn't have a computer? Not everyone has the budget to buy the computer. And guess what? The miniature Sega Dreamcast could be at least 80 bucks, just like the miniature um, NES and the SNES, or, or 100, you know, being able to, to read all the games that we already have. But at least have the miniature Dreamcast have at least 50 to 100 games on it, you know, at least the good games that is, you know, a few shooters, a few fighters, some RPGs, you know, a variety of the good games the Dreamcast had to offer back then. But tell me what you guys think. Do you think that would be a really good idea for a second to create a miniature Dreamcast? Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. I really just wanted to make this video because it just came to me thinking about it. Like that would be a really cool product. Being, have, being able to have a miniature Dreamcast, having a good bit of games already uploaded to the console, being in high definition. That would be fucking awesome. That really would. But that's just me ranting about it and thinking about it because, you know, I would like to play more, ty more styles of the Sega Dreamcast games instead of having to spend like 200 bucks just to buy another damn game. <laughs> but... Yeah, like I said before, just tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. I personally think it's a cool idea. Of course, there's going to be some people having negative thoughts or saying it's stupid. Get out of here. No, 
emulators, blah, blah. I don't care. This is my channel. I just wanted to create this video. But anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new, I do hope you consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be able to know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day, week, and whatnot. And I hope to see you paisanos in the next video.